crafty with me today we're making this cute beer can mug tumbler whatever they're called now but they're pretty popular and cute we're gonna make this design you've been boozed head over to my blog thecraftprint.com to get your free file and we're going to get to work if you're not already subscribed go ahead hit the subscribe button like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with anyone you think that would have fun making it as well so let's jump right into it and start crafting all right guys so this is actually my third time doing this voice over because the volume is just not right so once you've gone to my blog www.thecraftprint.com and you get your free svg file you're going to upload it into design space nothing has to be changed you can change the image name if you want add some tags so when you're searching for your files under your uploads you'll be able to find it under those tags we're going to select choose that and then put it into our canvas i i, I kind of messed up the words there. i don't even know what i'm saying today um, i'm probably just tired of re-recording this but i'm gonna get it done hopefully we don't make it five times but anyway let me shut up and get to what we're doing so i want to show you when you upload your file if you just send it to matt it's not going to be organized in the right spot that you need it to be so i'm going to show you how to make sure that all of the letters are in the place that you want them to be. First, you're going to ungroup. Yes, ungroup. You're going to take the white layer, see on the right side there, move it to the top because we need that separate. Then all of the other layers are black. You're going to just hit the arrow to close them up together. It makes it easier to select everything. Choose one layer, hit shift and select all three layers there. That's the easy way. If I open it back up and I show you, you would have to hold shift and select every last letter that's listed there. So you wanna just close it up, compress it, and then choose each group. So hold shift, select all three, go down to the bottom, and you're going to click attach. Now that's gonna keep all of the letters exactly where they are, so when we send it to Matt, it'll stay there and you don't have to rearrange them. Most important, save, save, save. Always save your projects. You don't wanna to have to come back and redo all of this. So now you see we have our separate layers, all the black together and the white together. If you wanna make a T-shirt, another size cup, you can highlight both of these layers together. Make sure they're laying on top of each other group them and then you can change the size so you do not have to make this into four inches for just a cup so i sent a mat but um i'm a little bit forgetful i forgot to choose what machine i was cutting on and i was using the maker so i had to go back change it from explore and choose maker three now i'm using the maker three because i'm using smart material Smart Material cuts without a mat, but only on your Maker 3 and your Explore 3. So I'm going to select the correct machine that I'm using, send it to Matt. I'm going to choose to cut without a mat. And that's it. Look how simple. All of our letters are in place. We just have to do a real quick weeding process, layer these two on top of each other, and we're ready to go. Up so I'm back Let me show because you I have to show you guys one other thing so I'm not really good with layering and aligning that layer. well so Take the ghost with the here. eyes might Take give you a little contour. trouble so what you can do you can select it on the bottom right the eyes. click yeah, contour click on each one select the two or, eyes um, and just click out of that that bottom contours. there is when you want to just choose all if you have it, multiple um, layers to take away so you see that the eyes are gone so now all we have to do is lay the black layer on Without top of that white and we don't have to focus on getting those correctly. eyes aligned perfectly this makes it so changes. much easier and we don't have the stress and of layering so let's that. go so because i'm using the smart vinyl i just slide it right in here with no mat i'm using then you press load and it loads and cuts so i'm gonna cut all of that and then we're going to weed it so i have the white piece that cut the black one. I'm just going to cut out the piece we're using. So we have our two layers. 
We're going to need some transfer tape, a weeding tool, a little scraper, and our glass. I already put the design on one side. We'll put it on the other for the video. So, first our white layer, which is really easy. The only bad thing, it's like white on white. So I'll show you what I did to be able to layer it together. I cut this close and in the shape of the actual ghost. And I shall show you why once we get to that part. Now I'm not gonna speed up the weeding of the black because it's not that long. So you can actually watch me do it. It just wouldn't be me if my phone wasn't dying. Just, just amazing. So we're going to peel. And you're going your to phone is dying. You're going to take your time. Y'all, I don't know if y'all just heard that, but it's staying right in this video. Y'all don't see what it is when I'm crafting. So let me grab a charger. I'm gonna come back. I'm back because in true Chandel fashion, I couldn't even find a darn charger. Now, so remember we did the outside. We're gonna peel off this piece of the ghost. Oh, see, that's why I say take your time. The little eye wanted to stay there. Hold on, okay. Now this little piece, I'll just turn it inside out and stick it. So when I take any little pieces off, I could just poke it right there. So these are a little small. You wanna stick it on. So you're just getting those inside pieces off and make sure it comes all the way off. There we go. If you don't feel like being bothered with words, just could we just put a little ghost? Oh, you don't even want to come off. There we go. You want to make sure they don't stay on here where they get on your transfer tape when you put it on. One more piece and that's it. And that's the inside of the letter D. There we go. You've been boozed. And don't forget to add the booze to your cup. All right, so we need our transfer tape. I just cut off. You don't have to, it's just me. I just want it to be the closest size so I know how much of the transfer tape that I need. So, um, I don't know which one this is, but this is not the like extra strong one. So you're gonna cut off the amount that you need. going to peel that let's see how much trouble it's going to give me not too much not too much wait i talk too fast okay so i'm just peeling a little piece first so that i can line it up press it down and peel as i go rub it down Peel as I go, rub it so it can be flat and as smooth as possible. Then we're gonna take that scraper.
just to press it down on the transfer tape. So when I scrub, it looks like cloudy. And then when I press it down, you see the smooth black. So that's how I could tell if I press down a certain area. All right, hopefully this is good. We're going to peel this up here. Let's see if we have to press it any longer. Nope. This is perfect. So, uh-oh, hold on. Look like a piece of the end didn't stick. So I'm gonna start from over here, which looks pretty good. Yep, look at that little bit of the end being stubborn. There we go, there we go. And now the ghost piece, remember I said I cut it? It just, for me, it allows me to line it up. So I line the squiggles as best as I can. Hold on, that, that wasn't as best as I can. And I lost an eye. All right, let's line it up. It might not be perfect. I am not the greatest. Now, what I'm going to say is use this paper to lay it back down to press down the white. Peel this. Did the white stick? It did. It might. It looks like it has a little. Huh, I see some bubbles. I don't know. So we got our cup. Now I don't have a cup holder. I think I'm gonna have to invest in that. So I'm gonna take this microfiber cloth that I have here and just clean that off. And then I'm going to just lay it starting in the middle part. You see it's kind of bent in my hand. Be careful. Now y'all might have better ways to do this, but um, I sure don't. So I'm gonna press the middle. I feel little bubbles and then move out. I'm gonna keep my hand here to hold that piece up. And I'm gonna try to smooth this part down and then come over here. All right, all right, all right. Now where's my little scraper so I can press down? I promise y'all I lose everything. Let me get another one. It's just, it was like right in front of me. I, I don't know how I do it, but anywho. You could use this to smooth it down, make sure it sticks to the glass jar and again this file is free on my blog at thecraftprint.com right, I'm just gonna press it for extra and let's peel oh baby and it is that simple look at that perfect now I have it on both sides. Add your booze. And you've been boozed. Cute, ain't it? And simple and easy. I like simple and easy crafts. So again, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with anyone else that you think would like to make this craft as well. Enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.